Hello, how are you doing? There are a lot of exciting sounding books that are coming out this autumn, so I want to highlight 10 that I'm most eager to read. I'm going to go through each title, give short summaries of them, and why I'm so interested in reading them, as well as their UK publication date. Now, publication dates can change sometimes, and also they vary between different countries and territories, but hopefully this will give you a rough idea about when they're coming out. and. Also, all of these books are by authors that I've read and really enjoyed before, which is a big part of the reason why I'm so interested in reading their new titles. So if you like the sounds of any of these books and you've not read these authors before, obviously I'd really recommend going back and reading their, their previous books before their new book comes out. And I know this is only a small sample of a lot of the great books that are going to be published um, in the latter half of this year. So if there are other books that you're also really interested in reading that are coming out soon, uh, please let me know about that in the, the comments below, but also let me know if you're also interested in, in reading any of these books. Now to start off, there is The Vaster Wilds by Lauren Groff, which is being published here in the UK on September 21st. And this is about a servant girl who escapes a settlement in America uh, and goes out into the wild and about um, her surviving in the wilderness and her connection with nature, uh, but also with her connection, feeling of her connection with God and um, because she has a strong sense of faith and um, is meditating on her, her life um, leaving Britain and coming to America and I've heard so many good things uh, about this book and really enjoyed Lauren Groff's books before. Um, I've read Fates and Furies and Matrix and really enjoyed both of those books and uh, Sarah from her YouTube channel Hardcover Hearts. Um, I met her several weeks ago here in London and uh, we had tea and uh, just had a wonderful afternoon like chatting over little sandwiches, having lots of talk about books and she was raving about this novel and it made me even more excited to read it. Let Us Descend by Jasmine Ward. This is going to be published on October 3rd. Obviously this is an advanced copy of the book so this is what the finished copy will look like. And the story is about an enslaved girl um, before the Civil War who is sold south by her white father and about the arduous journey um, as she is forced to travel from North Carolina to Louisiana. And uh, it's exploring um, her life and uh, her sense of um, trying to have a sense of freedom um, amidst this hellish landscape. I was incredibly moved by Jasmine Ward's novel Sin, Unburied Sin. She um, writes in such a poetic and powerful way, and this new novel is being described as her masterpiece. Cahokia Jazz by Frances Spufford. This is going to be published on October 5th, and this is uh, set in 1922 in a city beside the Mississippi um, River where Time and history run a bit differently. Uh, so this is a time of speakeasies in America, and uh, so it's ex exploring like the history of the country from the from a slightly different angle. And Francis Bufford writes in a really interesting way. Um, I I enjoyed his novel Light per Perpetual um, without fully loving it, um, but I, I think he is such a, a unique writer that seems to write about very different subject matter um, through f throughout his different books. Um, so I'm, I'm keen to, to explore his take on this. Beyond the Door of No Return by David Diop, translated by Sam Taylor, and this is also being published on October 5th. Uh, this is a novel set in the 18th century in Senegal. Um, it's about adventure and romance, uh, about a man who travels to Senegal initially in order to do some research, but then um, he becomes very interested in uh, the, the slave trade in the area and a, a woman who is sold into slavery and his involvement in her life. Now, I read Diop's novel At Night All Blood is Black, which uh, won the International Booker Prize. And it is one of the most powerful stories I've ever read about war 
and conflict from a soldier's point of view, so I'm very keen to read his new book. Roman Stories by Jhumpa Lahiri. Um, this is being published on October 12th, and these are short stories um, set in Italy that are all about uh, kind of quiet moments in the lives of a number of different characters. I mean, there are some very dramatic things um, occur, but um, she traces like their psychology and their lives in a very uh, understated way. Um, I've read a number of these short stories um, already, read them aloud um, to my husband, um, and uh, so I I've been enjoying them all already, and it's really interesting how Lahiri's writing has, has been going. Um, she, she moved to Italy a number of years ago and um, has been working there as a translator and also um, writing new books. Um, I, I've read a couple of her previous novels before, um, but they're quite different from her more recent writing. So she's, it's a really interesting case of a, a writer who's really been evolving in her subject and style. Family Meal by Brian Washington. This is also being published on October 12th. It's a novel about two young men that grow up alongside each other and then later in their lives um, their um, relationship has changed a lot. So it's about that evolving connection with one another. I, I think in their early life it's partly set in a bakery which really entices me to read about. I love um, stories that are like set all around like our place of food or that involve like food a lot and it's called Family Meal so I, I assume it involves a, a lot of, about that and I've really enjoyed Brian Washington's fiction before. Um, he's such an interesting writer um, originally from Houston and um, his short story collection Lot and his, his novel Memorial I thought were so powerful and emotional so very exciting excited for this new novel. Julia by Sandra Newman. This is being published on October 19th. I've talked about this novel a couple times already in previous videos because I am so excited about it. So this takes the character of Julia from George Orwell's 1984 and it tells the story from her point of view. So it's Newman's like reimagining of Orwell's story. Um, Julia is a character who uh, worked at the, the ministry, maintained maintaining the, the novel writing machines there, um, which is so interesting to think about, you know, given all of the uh, controversy re recently about, you know, like whether AI can write novels and, and all of that. Um, but she begins an affair with uh, Winston, the main character of 1984, and um, Julia is um, very against the, the party. Um, so so interested to see Newman's take on her story and um, from her point of view, and I've had a interesting relationship with Sandra Newman's um, books in the past. I've read a few of her novels. So um, her the first book I read by her was um, The Country of Ice Cream Star, which I think is one of the most challenging novels I've ever read before, um, but very interesting, really worth reading. Um, and um, her novel uh, The Men I, I thought was slightly less successful, um, but um, her, her novel The Heavens I, I thought was so powerful and imaginative. Um, so she's such a fascinating writer and so very keen to see her take on this story. Also, just so you know, um, the cover of this book, um, it, it kind of looks like this is a wraparound, but it's it's actually not. It's part of the, the actual cover of the book, which I think is so clever in that, you know, it's, it's so influenced by 1984, but it's Julia's story coming into the forefront and, of course, have to show the inside pages. Blackouts by Justin Torres. This has been published on November 2nd and I've been anticipating this new novel for so long because Taurus's novel We the Animals is such a powerful and compact um, short novel, really emotional and so unique and so I've been really looking forward to his new book. Um, and this story um, is about a, a man who is dying and a younger man who is caring for him. And it's exploring um, the the relationship and tensions between different generations of gay men, um, which is such an interesting subject matter. I feel like there, there's so much like misunderstanding um, between um, the different generations. And so um, I think this is trying to kind of bridge um, that um, understanding and use 
uses a quite unique style for doing so because as well as text, it also incorporates um, images into it. Um, so you can see that like throughout the book. Um, so yeah, really keen to see his take on this story. Bird Life by Anna Smale. This is being published on November 7th and this is a novel about two women who encounter one another in a park in Tokyo. Both of them have lost someone very close to them in their, their lives. So it's about this connection they form with each other and also one of them um, she has this ability where like animals kind of speak to her um, and also the story involves music quite a lot because Anna Smell was a former musician and um, so her debut novel The Chimes was long listed for the Booker Prize and uh, was such a, a powerful and um, really like strange novel. Um, so she's such an interesting writer. And finally, there is the novel Baumgartner by Paul Oster, which is also being published on November 7th. Um, this is a story about a man who is entering his 70s. Uh, his wife Anna has died and much of his life has been defined by his relationship with her. And it's about the, the moments in um, their life together that he remembers. And then there are some other moments which have slipped away in which he's forgotten and um, so it's exploring you know, the differing points of view of um, people in their relationships um, which is such a poignant um, subject matter and Paul Oster is a writer that um, was really important to me like early on in my reading life I read so many of his books I haven't read so many of his more recent books um, but he um, is um, such a, a powerful writer and uh, and uh, I'm, I also have a, a, a keen interest in reading this book um, because Baumgartner is the, the surname of a, um, a, a friend of mine from my teenage years I'm um, named Julie Baumgartner who I acted in um, in, a, in a play of, uh, of, of Blythe Spirit where I played Charles Condamine and, and she played um, my um, wife Ruth and um, and so Julie Baumgartner if you're watching this video I'm um, like this just a little shout out and hello to you but um but it made me especially keen to read this new novel so those are um, 10 of the books that I'm most eager to read um, in the latter half of this year um, so let me know in the comments below if you're also interested in reading these books or reading these authors now that I've talked about them or if there are other books and titles that you know are going to be published um, later this year that you're really keen to read. Um, tip me off about that and let me know about that in the, the comments below. But I hope you're doing well and reading good things and I'll speak to you again soon. Bye bye.